Hi all and welcome back to your channel. So, video a little bit of a difference today. I am in town and it's hard to explain this one. So, this isn't a look at me, look what I do video. This is, I'm feeding the homeless today. Well, I'm going to feed someone who's homeless through an app called Too Good To Go. What Too Good To Go is, it's, a, it's like a waste food app. So, you go on, you book a bag, and then you pick it up at a certain time. So I've, I've booked one from Greg's. I've paid £2.59 for the bag. And um, there's over £8 worth of products in the bag. I can only pick it up between half six and seven p.m. That's why I'm in town now, dark o'clock. So I've got to go to Greg's on Old Door Street because these, these sell out fast. And um, it's just an idea for people that want to feed, that want to do something for the homeless and think they can't afford to. Like me, myself, I don't give the homeless uh, money because whatever addition you've got, whatever, whether it be alcoholism, whether it be um, drug addiction, I don't want to help feed that, okay? So what I will do is I'll feed them, and that's what I'm doing tonight. So I'm going to go there. Um, I've, I've only got about 20 minutes to pick it up. It's about 20 to 7 now. So I'm going to pick the bag up. We'll see what's in it, see if it's weird, the £2.59. And then uh, get out of the way that light. And then um, we'll give it to the homeless. Everything should be individually wrapped, so I'm not going to open stuff and start fingering it, you know what I mean, stuff like that. I'm just going to look at what's in there, you know, and see if it's worth it, and then hand it out to someone who's homeless. It's as simple as that. Uh, I'm not going to get anyone on camera, so I, I don't want to shame them, but I just want to highlight that there is a homeless problem in the city, which there really is, it's a massive problem in the city. Um, I've, I've been wanting to do something for a while, but not knowing what to do. Um, this is a start, okay? So I'll go and get the bag, we'll get it open, and we'll see what's in it. See you in a minute. Right, so I'm on Old Hall Street now. Um, there's a good exit off the road that I'm going to be going into. Just there. Um, I'll get the email up on my phone where I've paid, get the code, and then get my bag. I will find somewhere to open it and see what's in it. Right, put the camera back at me while I go in. <sighs> yeah, pick up that bag. You got none? I've paid for it. No? Nightmare. We haven't got the sandwiches, you see. Oh, haven't you? It's only what we've got left. We haven't had this. Okay. Okay. Have you got the app? Sure, you haven't had a cancellation. Oh, yeah, two oh, there, yeah. Yeah. Because we never had them. Okay, no worries, yeah. Right, yeah. So okay, thanks a lot. Cheers, see you later. Bye. Well, that's not good, is it? <laughs> right. It was cancelled. And I've literally only just received the email now. Um, I checked, I checked the timing on the email, but I had to pick up between half six and seven. I'll put the, I'll, I'll check the timing. If you shut the doors and everything. Um, what a nightmare. You know, you're trying to do something good and you just can't. They didn't have any. 
Right, I'm going to right, I'm going to go back on to good to go. See if there's anything I can get in the area now. See if there's anything. Well, someone might have been relying on that, you know. You know, someone who's been starving all day, been relying on that all day. To be told you can't have one's been cancelled. Come on. Got to do better than that. What's the point in the app? Right, I'll see you in a minute. Right, so I've ordered another one, okay? I've ordered a surprise bag from Marks and Spencer's in Live Street. But I can't pick it up till 8 o'clock, between 8 and 9, it says. Um, so Greg's really was too good to go, wasn't it? Uh, the email was sent just after five o'clock, so you know I can't complain too much. It's just, it's just, if that was someone who's relying on that all day, <laughs> then, get, then getting tolls. No, we've got none left. It's a bit poor, that. Um, but I don't know how it works. This is my first time using it. I've never had to use it. I don't want to use it for myself. But this five pound bag from Marks and Spencer's is. It's got £15 worth of ed edible products in it, so we'll see what that contains. But uh, we'll take a walk through the city and get there and wait. See you in a minute. One thing I will say, it's absolutely freezing tonight, so... Hopefully most of the ones living out on the street have found somewhere to stay for the night. By the time 8 o'clock comes, you know, I think they're more concerned, they've got to be more concerned about getting warm than filling the bellies. But we'll just see. I haven't seen anyone with me in fair, so. Yeah, it is what it is. This is where we have the problem, it's all tense along here. So, if anyone's in, they want to get this bag. These can have the food that's in it. Shocker, isn't it? So there was someone in that last tent, I could hear them talking, so um, more over here, they're everywhere. I won't get them on, I won't get them on camera. But uh, I'll just see who can, who's, I don't know. Hopefully I'll give it to one and then they, they can whack it out between the rest. They must all know each other. So I'll just see. So I'm at Lassie Station, 
you know, backgrounds. Um, still got to wait 45 minutes before I can go in and get this bag. So, yeah. Not to do. I might go and get a coffee, I think. I'll, I'll get a coffee. See if me uh, stand out, standing out in the calls. A bit disappointed over there, uh, over Greg's. Yeah, so, yeah, I'll go in, get a coffee from somewhere and wait. See you in a minute. So, beef me coffee. It's now just after 8 o'clock. I'm going to go to Martin Spencer, which is just over there. And get me bag, see what it says in there. Um, I'll keep recording, but I'll, I'll keep it down on me. See you in a minute. Ooh. Hi. Who, who do I see for the food bags? Yeah, I'll grab yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Right, I've got the bag. Uh, going to go outside. Going to go through it, see what's in there. It's all, it's all individual in there, so we'll see what we've got. It doesn't look like 15 quid's worth. <laughs> but we'll see what we've got. Got my bag. Just there. So I'll, I'll turn it round and we'll see what's in it. So we have a fruit tub, we have another fruit tub, we've got a big bottle of Marks and Spencer's smoothie, orange juice, it's, yeah, it's, it's smooth orange juice so it's got no bits in it, it's a big bottle. We have Um, one smoked bacon strips. I suppose you can snack on that. Um, filthy rich, blended with zesty lemon. So it's a tangy. <laughs> That's easy for me to say. Well, you can dip your strips in that, and we've got a pasta tub. Okay, we've got chicken, tomato, basil, and yeah, pasta salad. And that's it, guys. Um, I suppose with it being nice and expensive, it probably is 15 quid's worth of stuff because it's expensive in there. So I'm going to put, put all that back in and we're going to hand it to someone on the street. Oh, there it all is in there. And we're going to hand it out to someone. So I'm going to hand this out, I'm, I'm not going to make a big song and dance about it, I'm just going to see someone, I'm going to hand it to them, I'm going to have the camera on me, I'm not going to get them in shot, um, I don't want to embarrass them. But hopefully they'll be grateful for what's in here. You know what, it, it, it's something. I'm good about the Greg's one, because the Greg's one would have lasted them, you know, until the morning. This is an evening meal at best. You've got a pasta salad, um, you can dip your little bacon strips into that tip and um, the fruit bowls as a pudding I suppose but yeah. yeah you know what there's someone here they're actually eating so I'm going to leave them alone they've got they've actually got food it's a girl you know what she hasn't got a lot of food I wonder if I have to give it to that girl there. Um, yeah, so I'll be making this a regular thing. Hopefully, um, not hopefully, but I, I, I will use different shops. And we'll just see, see what they have in them. See which is more value for money. Um, I really want to try the Greg's one out, but maybe tomorrow or, or another day I can do the Greg's one. Um, but I will be doing this more often. Um, if I can afford to, basically. So I've got a family and myself to feed, but yeah. If we've got it, I will share it. Right, so I'm just approaching people that are um, living in tents around here now. Oh, the 
guy in the ends here. If he's got nothing to eat, he's getting his bag. Well, I'll keep him. I'll keep him off camera. You got any food, mate? You got any food? Yeah. Yeah. Fill your boots. Thank you. No worries. See you later. So there's that under doubt. I didn't want to make a song and dance about it. He said he had no food. He's got the bag of food now, so. That'll stop him going hungry tonight. Not I can do about keeping him warm. But yeah, um, right, as I said before, I'm, I'm doing this too, uh, too good to go. Um, which is an app that you can go on. And stuff that's getting thrown out at the end of the day, they'll, they'll put it in a bag for you. You can buy it, you know, for a fraction of the price that it should be. So, if you, if you yourself are hungry or you're struggling to make ends meet, um, get on there. It, it's, well, that cost me a fiver. I don't think it's worth a fiver. Because Marks and Spencer is expensive, as it is expensive as it is. But, uh, but you've got the likes of Greg's on there, and I believe their bags are full of stuff that could last you all day rather than one meal. But yeah, I will be doing a Greg's one when I, when I get the chance to. And we'll see how it goes. Okay, so thanks for watching. I'm not going to ask for subscribers and all that. Uh, it's just another thing that I want to do. Um, it's, more, it's, it's, it's not about me um, virtue signalling about look what I'm doing. It's more of highlighting the problem because it is a massive problem at the moment in the city. You, you, you have got genuine homeless people on the street and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tents just in my eyesight now. Um, there's a lot of uh, ungenuine or non-genuine homeless who are absolutely ripping, ripping people off by asking for money. So, me, I can spot the genuine ones and the non-genuine ones. These are genuine. They're living in a tent in this cold. Um, the city centre is almost a ghost town, so there's no reason for them to be there if they're not homeless. So, yeah. But I just want to highlight the issue. So, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll speak to you at the next one. Bye now.